A subprocess is a compounded activity that represents work that, unlike a task, can be broken down to a finer level of process model detail. Additionally, a subprocess can be represented in an expanded or collapsed view. An expanded view shows subprocess's details within the view of the process that it's contained in. A collapsed view indicates that a subprocess can be opened up to show a lower level process. A collapsed view subprocess is indicated by an additional plus sign positioned at the bottom center of the shape. Besides the collapsed view subprocess marker, BPMN specifies four types of standard markers for subprocesses which define different behaviors of a subprocess a loop marker, a multi instance marker, an ad hoc marker, and a compensation marker. A loop marker defines a repeating subprocess, which means that the subprocess will start again after it reaches its end state. A subprocess will loop as long as the set loop condition is true. A multiple instance marker attached to a subprocess represents several instances of the same subprocess. These multiple instances of the process can be performed in parallel or sequentially. Three horizontal lines represent a sequential execution, whereas three vertical lines indicate that the instances should be performed in parallel. An ad hoc subprocess is indicated with a tilde symbol. This type of subprocess contains a number of embedded inner activities which are intended to be executed flexibly. The contained activities can be executed sequentially or in parallel, or they can be executed multiple times in an order. The compensation marker indicates a compensation subprocess, which represents a compensation handler that's performed in case a compensation event is triggered. This happens when a transaction isn't performed successfully. A subprocess may have one to three of these behavior markers in all combinations, except for loop and multi instance, which cannot be shown at the same time.